Hello and welcome to a quick video update. The game in the background is Tiger Woods 06. It was going to be F1 2021, but Shadowplay did not want to record it properly. I don't know why, but I figured I'd just a Tiger Woods in that case. I don't want to waste too much time picking a game. So, my plan for going forward is, is a video update at the start of every month. Now, at the minute, that's not quite required, but I want to get into the habit now, because in the future, as I've kind of mentioned previously, I'm planning on doing more like one-shot content, so to speak, so like one-offs. But I'm going to save most of that for another video update when I know that's all kind of finalised and I'm working towards that like, proper like, actually recording stuff at the minute. I'm just kind of getting ideas together, doing some graphics, etc. The big news for this month is the schedule I've got in mind. Now annoyingly I've kind of broken this already because today was meant to be Persona video but I've made a mistake in the game. And I've got to judge whether I want to go back, fix that mistake and then play through it again off camera or roll with it. But that's for a Persona 3 uh, update, but that's why there's not no Persona 3 video today. But the general idea is, tomorrow will be Sims 3, Thursday will be Persona to make up for today, Friday will be Sims 3, and then Saturday, the 5th, will be like a break. So it'll be, the Tiger Wars will be going on as normal, but I'm, I'm talking about the extra content. So Tiger Wars every day, 2 and then 2, so 2 or 5, 2 or 6 as always. But for the other things, Saturday will be like a day off, so just Tiger Wars, and Sunday will be Sims 3 again. Monday will be Madden, Tuesday will be Sims 3, Wednesday will be Persona, and Thursday will be the Sims 3, and then the 11th, the Friday, will just be Tiger Woods. It's like a day off, and then the pattern will repeat for February. Because my main goal here is to finish the Sims 3 as soon as possible, not as soon as possible, but that is like my, my secondary priority. My priority 1 is essentially Tiger Woods, priority 2 is Sims, and priority 3 is Madden and Persona. So at this rate, I will finish The Sims 3. I think the current estimated finish date is the 4th of March. But that means I can have it potentially finish recorded by the end of February. And that will give me like a good month to work on some behind the scenes stuff. And then April, I can kind of kick on with it. That's the idea. If that's going to you know, end up like that, I'm not sure. But we'll soon see. Uh, that's also the purpose of, this video, of these video updates. So I can keep you in the loop where I am with what. If I fall behind and what, what I think is going to happen, etc. But that's the main goal for this month is to finish the Sims 3, at least recording it. Then I've got a week off in March. And that uh, the, the, that should be a productive month for like behind the scenes things. Because at the minute, I'm basically trying to create logos for different types of content I'm going to do. I've obviously changed the logo on my channel on the banner as well. The banner's going to stay as is I think I'm quite pleased with that one but the logo will probably change again because the dark blue is hard to see when it's small. I need to change it to the sky blue that matches my banner and see how I can go from there and see how that looks. So you might see a few changes to the logo going forward. I think it's better than what I had. I just got to make it easier to see in a small format. And then I'll be creating logos for different I say type of shows, type of content. I'll explain what's, what type of content I'm going to do once I've kind of got everything in place and I've planned together. But the idea is, as I mentioned, more one shot content. So I'll have like a core series of two or three of those Let's Plays surrounded by more varied content because this is a variety channel. So you can you can do a variety of games like I'm doing, but you can also do different types of content within those games. And that's the plan. So this part of the update, I'm going to go through each series again. Just to kind of talk about it. I'll start with Tiger Woods. Uh, this month it would be I'm doing Rivals Mode for 06 and Season Mode for 05. I think Season 1 of Season Mode is set to end in March. Once that ends, I'll probably do the Dream 18 uh, Legend Challenges. I'll change it to get to 100 Prestige. And then do the, the uh, Legend 18 Challenges. To give me like a week so, or so break from season mode because obviously that will go on for like 150 episodes by the time I finish season 1 and then season 2 will be the total difficulty season whether I do a separate playlist for that or keep it all in one I'm not sure yet but I figure that when I get there I might just keep it in one playlist but I'll have like total difficulty in the thumbnail but we'll do a, a second season of total difficulty I'm not changing to total diffi difficulty at the moment because I want to get as many trophy balls as possible so I, I want to get everything if I can and get a complete uh, you know trophy room because once I get that I, I'm, I'll basically finish the game now 
I can do like challenge videos, etc., with it as well. But in terms of like a main series where I'm not doing it, you know, multiple times a week. Once the trophy room is done, that's probably it for 05, then I'll be looking at others. Uh, 06, uh, I think that's just going to continue for a while. Obviously, I had a great episode with the, with the comeback, that was insane. I think the, ske the, uh, let's say the schedule, the format for that is I'll probably do a couple of the easier challenges to start off with so we get introduced to the characters. Probably do a couple, I'll, I'll do like maybe one initial rank match and then do a few more challenges that are probably team based. I think that's the one that's going to be hardest to win and therefore the most entertaining to watch. Uh, the problem with Rivals mode is I've not finished it before, so I'm, I'm not 100% sure what's going to happen. Whereas with the Legend Tour, it's easy enough, you know, World Tour, easy enough. Team Tour was pretty standard. Rivals mode is a little more new, it's not very much, but with the challenges, you got to like, you got a little bit more freedom. It's not 100% it's not linear. But I think that's what, what I'm going to do, because essentially the challenges, even though they kind of never end in. Uh, it has produced the best episode of that game so far, but we'll see how it goes as the game gets harder. Uh, Sims 3, obviously ending soonish. Uh, season 4 will end when Emily graduates. Unless she gets arrested for killing Tiberius, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen there. Right. There's nice and chill series, you know, everything's going into plan, then Tiberius is just being a prick <laughs> for those that have been watching it. Uh, but. As I said earlier, the current estimated finish date is the 4th of March. But I might do like a week of just Sims, but I, I might not. I don't want to like over, you know, over saturate or anything. But my main aim at the very least is to finish recording it by the end of February, assuming everything goes to plan. Because if the last update is on the 4th of March, I can have an extra couple of episodes as a backlog ready to edit and go up. Just for those dates, I could have it, I have it already recorded. In the March, uh, I can kind of get on with what I want to do in the, in the background. So Sims 3, pretty straightforward. Going to end soonish when Emily graduates. Like late February, early March. Uh, the exact date I'll know once I'm back at university for the third semester. So that's when you'll get the actual date. But that's what it's looking like. And then season five will probably kick off towards the end of the year. I will, though, I will be doing a season five. I just, I don't, I'm not sure when yet. I don't plan on having a gap as big as what I normally have. It's like a year's gap. I normally have it as. So I kind of play it what every other year. Cause it can get me up to a year just to finish the season sometimes. But the idea is probably like maybe October, November. In my head, this is subject to change. Subject to change 100%. But that's kind of what got me had the kind of autumn, winter this year. Next up, Madden. Madden's pretty straightforward. it would be getting basically one of them a week. Uh, as long as everything goes fine. And I feel fine and everything like that. Uh, I think I'm in contract for a couple more years with Detroit, so I'll be staying in Detroit. Until my contract's up. But then at that point, at some point, I'm going to have to change teams. I don't want to do an entire series uh, as one team. I do want to switch up at some point. It's just I keep winning. Because <laughs> Johnson. Uh... Technically speaking, I could end the series now because I think if I retire, I will get into the Hall of Fame because I'm now on the list. There's a like a Hall of Fame. Who, who do you think is going to make it into the Hall of Fame poll? And I think if you get it on, if you get on that poll, that means you're going to get to the Hall of Fame, which is the main point of the game mode. And I'm on that list at number five now. So technically speaking, I can end the series when I want. But I, when I started that, but like six years ago. I started that not too long after I started, I think. It was one of my earlier Let's Plays that I started, and it's still going. And my plan was to do a, a full-blown career. And I will do a full... I don't care how long it takes, I will do a full-blown career. But Madden... But this is as normal, about once a week. Occasionally twice when it lines up, like, you know, like a Monday, Sunday type of thing. But once a week until Sims 3 is finished, and then I'll re-evaluate. And Persona 3, pretty much the same as Madden. Uh, once a week is the plan. Uh, I've, had a, I've had a bit of a uh, problem here today. Hit, hit a bit of a snag, knowing that I've made a mistake. It's not following the guide proper that I was using. So now I've got to evaluate. Do I just continue and make up for it? Because I can. I just got to double check that I can, but I'm pretty sure I can. Uh, or is it worth going back and redoing everything off camera to get back to where I am? Because if I do that, that will take a lot of time. And I've got to weigh up the pros and cons here. Because obviously, if it's something. 
critical, I have to, because otherwise I'll fail, but I think this one, I can roll with it. It's just, if I'm wrong, I won't find out until the end of the game, and that's a lot of content. A lot of content to redo. But I'll probably keep it back up just in case. It's just, if I hit a snag and I have to redo it from, from here and I've gone with it anyway, it will be a problem. So I've just got to be very cert very confident that that won't happen. But like Madden, once a week, okay. steady going, I'll reevaluate Persona once Sims 3 is finished. I'm leaning towards two of each uh, a week. Once Sims 3 is finished, but we'll see, we'll see. And that's basically the conclusion. I guess the last thing to talk about is any potential new series. I don't plan uh, to do anything new now. Until April, at least. I've talked about Nazi over Republic, but I don't want to start anything longish while uh, I'm going through these uh, kind of things in the background, basically. I, rather, I think it's better for me to take some time to that. Uh, if I get, I'm planning on making logos, like I said, so if I get some Blast from the Past logos done. So I do a Blast from the Past, I've not done it in ages now, but that's how Tiger Woods came to me. Uh, I did a Blast from the Past video on it, well I did too, I had a lot of fun with it, I'm like okay I'll do it then, I'll do it as a series because I want to. And that's the, that'll be the idea behind that series, and I'm going to create, create a logo for that so it's not just a thumbnail of the game, Blast from the Past in text, I'll create like an actual Blast from the Past logo, same with like Multiplayer Avengers, that's why I've not done any more of them because I want to hold off until I've got like an actual logo for it and a thumbnail design and stuff like that. So, March and February, I'm going to be Kind of business as normal and just kind of ticking things off. Trying to finish things as best I can. To free up space for other things in the future. And that's basically it. 12 minutes, not too bad. Uh, maybe that's mostly because I spent a lot of time just uh, talking through each series like I normally do. I, th I don't know if, uh, how useful that is, but I think just so you know where I'm at with each thing is, you know, if you want to know, you can, you can find out here. Um, once again, I'll finish this with a bit of rambling, as always. So, the next video update will be the 1st of March. Probably be another short one. I think April is one that's going to shape up to be the big one, where I, I kind of reveal what I've been working on. But that is assuming everything goes perfectly smooth, which I'm not sure it will. You know what I mean? It's, it's IT. The stanks can happen, but I'll keep you updated on that. But if everything goes to plan, April will be the big one. Potentially May or June, depending on what happens. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time for some more Let's Plays.